Okay, here is take two with our... Okay, so I already completed all this. It took me about eh, 30 minutes to do all this. Uh, don't ask me how I did it because I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, the, I say take two because I already tried fighting the gym leader and it took... Uh, the recording was 30 minutes and I lost. So I decided, you know, I'm not going to upload that. But uh, yeah, I think I kind of have a strategy for how I'm going to beat this thing. It's going to be long and tedious. This might be a long video. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and bought, we have 44 lemonades. My plan is to stall, because what I found that was working was just using Reaper, or yeah, Reaper, using its uh, charm on her Pokemon, because her main move is Struggle Bug, and it's physical, so we charm that to where it's useless. That can really help us. Uh, then have 420 here, and try to poison as many things as possible. And hopefully, over time, you know, the poison will just continue to get to them over time. So I'm hoping I could just stall out. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. So let's, uh, so yeah, she's talking about her brother in Jota, which I think is Bugsy. Another bug type gym leader in Jota, Bugsy. Unless she's talking about a different gym leader. But, uh, yeah, so here we go with take two. So our first two mods, Illumise and Masquerade. So our first thing off the bat, Intimidate's not too big of a problem. We're gonna Charm. Uh, we're gonna go for the. Mm, mm, let's go for you first, and then we'll poison you. The Lumis is gonna go for Rain Dance. It's kind of obvious. Although one thing I noticed was she doesn't try to actually use the Rain Dance. At least from what I've seen, she hasn't tried to use the Rain Dance. I only got to see three Vermonts because I didn't try the strategy at first. I tried it a little later on. After I only had Reaper and 420 left, and that was, was kind of working. But she has these two and an Anorith. That's all I know of her mods so far. So, uh, yeah, but she doesn't... From what I've seen from those three mods so far, she hasn't used anything like the rain to her advantage of trying to actually use it against us. So... Will 420 live another, like, two Struggle Bugs? Illumis has already been Struggle Bugged once. Can we get a Struggle Bug? Let's hope we don't get critted. Okay, as long as we don't get crit by this Master Ring, we should live the Struggle Bug. And then both our Mons will be poisoned. Good. Now they each got one charm. I think three would be the max. Charming each three times would be the max and their attack will be as low as possible. So right now, we're going for the slow hurt. The slow hurt. Let's heal you. Wait, no, Reaper needs to charm. We'll go with the Mask Ring, because in my mind, I think the Mask Ring is stronger than the Illumis. Just, um, I, don't, I don't know that for sure, but I'm just thinking like from their stats, I think it'd be stronger. I think we'll heal Reaper this turn. Yeah, it's in the yellow. When Reaper gets the yellow, that's my time to heal. There's a crit. Glad it didn't happen last time. So it's two charms in the Masquerade, one on the Illumis. So one more for the Masquerade, it should be at low attack, as low as it can be. So we're just take this turn to heal both of our Mons. I'm playing this real safe. I bought as many lemonades as I could because I don't know how much we're going to need. I had only like 20 something last time and we still had about 5 left before I ended up dying. Because all I had was Reaper and 420 left and then that's why I, just, I ended up figuring out, oh this is a pretty interesting strategy I could use. The slow and methodical, slow and methodical kind of way. Okay, Reaper will go ahead and charm you. 420 will once again heal. And this time we have our full team. So we can kind of use them as we see fit. Okay, here's another another heal is coming up. For both of Mons. Once the rain runs out, she's going to use the Illumise again for Rain Dance. I'm not sure if that's her only Mon that can use Rain Dance. I haven't seen the Mask Rain or the Anorith use it. But 
will get a free hit in there once this thing uses Rain Dance. Ring, and that should be as low as attack the mask range should have. Its attack now should be as low as it can be. Yeah, I think we should be able, as long as we don't, like, get crit, we sh Reaper sh could be able to get another hit in here and charm the enemies. I'm not sure if it's even necessary. I think we should take this turn to heal up. The Masquerade's gonna die in two attacks. Two more hits with the poison, the Masquerade should be gone. And then I think either two or three for the Illumise. I don't wanna risk anything. Just look at how much damage is still done to 420. I lowered his attack as low as it can get, and 420 is still doing, it's still getting half of his health getting hit. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know what I should do here. I think it will potion, so I don't waste, I have potion, so I don't have to waste eliminate. We'll potion up the Wigglytuff, and we'll fully heal 420. The Mask Rain's done this turn, and she should send in... She should send in the Anorith. The Anorith knows Rock Slide, which is a bit of an annoyance. Okay, so it used I, Rain Death. I didn't even realize the rain stopped, but there, okay. With that, they're actually both gone. Okay. So now we know if we poison, they'll both perish. So we're gonna get to see an extra. Mo oh, fuck a Yon Mega. And its name is. Is that her ace? Is the Yon Mega her ace? Oh, shit. I'm gonna perish song and hope she doesn't. Okay, I gotta get you out of there because that thing is for sure gonna try to use a flying type attack. Probably gonna like aerial ace me or something, so I gotta go. Who do I sack off? Do I sack off Creeper? Because Slick and Soundwave, they could maybe be useful. Yeah, it's, I think Creeper's the best to sack off if we have to sack off somebody. Then again, we can try sending Creeper in to disable. Whoever I send in is gonna get hit. No matter what. I want Todd to be at full health. Soundwave could maybe do some damage. It's either Slick or Creeper. One of them I'm, I'm gonna have to sack off right here. I think it's gonna have to be Creeper. Anorith's gonna rock slide. I'm gonna perish song if I can fucking live. Oh, fucking air cuttered! Oh my fucking dude. Why did you air cutter? Okay, that's another... I should have actually seen that coming, because all over in Pokemon, no moves that hit both of our mons, which is fucking annoying as shit, dude. Okay. This has now become a huge problem. I wasn't expecting this thing to air cutter and kill our Wigglytuff. Okay, you Aqua Jet for some weird reason. Can Slick live this and get off? Oh, he lived it. Get off that thunder wave. Paralysis. Okay. This is not how I was hoping things would go. It is not. Okay, we are in a predicament now. This looks gonna die no matter what I try to do. Okay, I think I have an idea. We're going to screech it. And then we're gonna send Todd in. And Todd's going to rock slide this thing. It is physical. I'm just trying to think of getting rid of this thing, because this thing's going to be terrible going against 420, so we gotta... 
We gotta try to make sure we kill it. Okay, at least the Anderith went for him. Yes! Get off the Screech. Okay, now I'm gonna... Oh, it's paralyzed too, so we should be... Fa Actually, I don't know, because this thing's getting the speed boost, so I don't know if we are gonna be faster. Let's try it, though. Rock Slide. And you are going to Screech the Anorith? I don't really know. Okay, that's not gonna do shit to us. It's gonna hurt Soundwave, though. Soundwave is fucked up. Ancient power, that's not a problem. Can I one-shot this thing? Oh, I can. Okay, that was her ace, too. It's named Heather. That should be her ace. Oh, god, we got the double knockout. Yo. We might have this. She has two mons left. It's a 2v2. Aqua, what the fuck is that? Aqua Ratnid and Bugsy. Oh, it is her, her brother. Bugsy is her brother. Okay. I'm just gonna go all... Wait, the Bugs... That's her ace? That thing is her ace? I'm gonna try and take out this Aqua Ratnid, whatever the fuck it is. Todd's tanking that. 420 is not... Eh, 420 kind of tanked that. Can we take it out? No. Can we take out the bug? Can't take out anything, dude. Shit. Okay. Bubble beam. Oh, shit. That's neutral. Oh, we barely lived that. Okay, we're gonna need to heal Todd up. Todd, you're in a rock slide in 420's turns. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, a Mega Drain will kill this thing. So you're just gonna heal. And you are gonna Giga Drain the Oc... The Errat... Oraqua Nid. Ara I don't know how to pronounce that, dude. And she fucking heals. Are you kidding me? Can we two-shot it with Mega Drain? Can we two-shot this thing with Giga Drain? No, I thought that was doing more. In my mind, that looked like it did more. How did that only do that much damage? Okay, I might as well just use the Rock Slide instead. At least we can get... We can hit both at the same time. Fuck, dude. <sighs> you avoided the attack. How? How, Sway? How did you avoid the attack? Fucking teach me your ways on how the hell you avoided that, okay? It doesn't look like the aqua, the, or whatever that fucking, I'm gonna name him Bitch, okay? What, how, whatever that bitch is doing, he's only going after Todd, and Bugsy's not doing much damage. So, th we just need to make sure 420 doesn't get killed from a crit or something. This thing's only going after Todd, so we just use 420, he rain danced. That's actually not good, because he's gonna try to, he's gonna power up his attacks. So we need to kill this thing now. Um... 420. Should I try using 420 to heal? Actually, no. We're just going to double team it. I'm just going to hope we can live one uh, a bubble beam or whatever. Nope. I forgot the Bugsy was going after us, too. If we don't kill this Aqua Arachnid, he's going to kill us this turn. Why? You have twice? You avoided the attack twice. Not once. Twice. Are you fucking joking me, dude? How do you get that kind of... Did we live? <gasps> we lived. Oh, shit. I was not expecting us to live that. Okay, I'm gonna spend, take both these turns to heal up Todd. Holy shit, I was not expecting us to live that. How did he avoid it twice, dude? Are you fucking joking me? The one I need to hit. The one I need to hit. He's the one that avoids it. Twice in a row. That is fucking ridiculous, dude. Aurora Beam. Why'd you use Aurora Beam? What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, 420 should live another attack. At least from the Bugsy. If he tries to get hit from the Aqua Arachnid, then he won't. You hypered. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. And use it on the Bugsy. The Bugsy's not a problem. He is not a threat right now. The Aqua Arachnid, he's a threat. Bugsy, not a threat. I'm okay with that. The rain stopped, dude? Jesus. I would appreciate it if it stopped. I should have just been poisoning this thing. I don't know why I haven't been poisoning. Okay, this thing should die. As long as we hit it twice, it should die. As long as it doesn't avoid it for a third time. Okay, you should be done. You'll be done to the Giga Drain. 
We did it, dude. We fucking did it. I didn't think we were going to do it, but we fucking did it. As long as this Bugsy doesn't go Super Saiyan on us now that it's the last one alive. Alright. We should be fine. We can start Water Gunning this thing, take advantage of the rain. And you heal so you don't die. Take advantage of the rain and go ahead. Oh my god, dude. I was not expecting to finish it this turn. I was hopefully going to be able... What I was expecting was we could just... I didn't do any damage to this thing. Let's poison it. What I was expecting was us to be able to see maybe all of her Pokemon and then come up with a strategy. Because we only I only knew of three coming into this set. This is the second time trying to fight her. And I only knew of three Pokemon. The first two and then the Anorith. And with the team I had, I didn't think I was going to be able to fucking do it. Okay, let's... Let's heal. Did this thing not get poisoned? I don't think it got poisoned. Let's go ahead and use Ask. I think I used the wrong move. I think I used Growth. Why is there... I'm fucking glad this is a race. Even if... Even if the Yon Mega was a race, we were able to take that out. I thought it was going to be a race, dude. It was a fucking Yon Mega. Why would the Yon Mega not be your ace in the hole? That makes zero sense. This thing's being a bit pain in the ass to try to take out. Here. This thing is becoming a pain in the ass to just take out. Just hit it with one more rock slide and you should be good to go. It's also acid, just in case. <sighs> Alright, here we go. It took us two tries, but we fucking got it. Oh. When Wigglytuff went down early, I was not expecting to win. Wigglytuff was going to be our fucking tank. Because it could tank these, uh, these bug attacks. Still not good enough, huh? How long did it take us to do that battle, dude? 17, okay, it didn't take us as long as I thought. It was in, last time, it, we, it was like fucking 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and the entire recording was 30. Ah. Yeah, I probably never will live up to his expectations. But, but it's okay. He did really well. Um, Mark received the Cocoon Badge. Nice. Um, since you have that badge now, Pokemon up to level 40 are probably gonna like you. <laughs> Which is good, because now... Before the next gym battle, we should be able to get our Tynema to evolve once, which will be great. We should also have a Bile Bloom by that point, because we, once we learn Toxic, we'll evolve Gloom. It also lets you use the move Rock Smash outside of battle, and um, uh, um, oh, here, take this please. Struggle Bug. I don't know how many bug types, so it's not really something useful to me. Contains the move Struggle Bug, it's a pretty unique move, and it, that it both both offensive and defensive. Uh, just call it my thanks for helping me deal with everything. Are we Gucci now? <laughs> um, okay. What? A mark? Um, sorry, I forgot to mention earlier. Actually, the Reborn League has a reserve leader for every type. That is, when a gym leader retires, the reserve leader takes their place. Since Heather's dad was, um, you know, that means that the poison reserve leader is now the new gym leader but they maybe don't know that yet. So I think you should go to the uh, Grand Hall and tell Ami what happened. That way they can uh, get it sorted. Did you do that? Sorry to impose, um, good luck. Are you gonna say um again? Yeah, okay. All right, so there we go. And we got our next objective to go back to the Grand Hall and tell Ami about what's going down. And also, something I didn't realize, we can go down here and we can like, use the TMs without teaching them to a Pokemon, which is very convenient. I just wish I knew that before I taught my Swampert Rock Smash. Although there is a move deleter. I think it's in this town or the previous town. So we can go get that shit taken care of. Not right now because we don't really need to, but actually we should do it now. Because what if he wants to learn a new move and we don't? We can't get rid of Rock Smash? Let's go get rid of it right now. But um, yeah, now that we can use Rock Smash, I think off screen, we're gonna go back into this tunnel that we were in before up here. Something's happening right there. I don't know what the fuck that is. But uh, we'll go there and we will go smash some rocks, see if we can find out, find out anything. Okay, get rid of Rock Smash for me, buddy. Thank you, okay. 
I don't know if he like took a hard skill or something for me. I wasn't paying attention. But uh, yes, yeah, so we'll go to the Grand Hall, but I'm gonna check up here because I know there's some Rock Smash rocks. I don't know if they'll lead to anything important, but I'll do it off screen and I'll kind of just show the items because it's kind of pointless. I don't want to make these like pointless videos. So uh, yeah, anyways, uh, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Connors. I'll see you next time with some more Pokemon Reborn. Thanks for watching again, and uh, yeah, peace out.